Hi friends, welcome back. This is Hot Topics in the News. Today, electronics is our topic. Linda, uh, did you ever have like a Walkman growing up? Yes, yeah. I did have a Walkman and I was so excited when I first got it mm -hmm. um, because you know I could listen to all of my music and although like, you know, that technology was a little older, I still appreciated it. Um, but then the iPod came out and that oh, was yes. even more convenient. You could mm -hmm. listen to more songs. Yeah. So yeah, I appreciated having those devices. Me too. <laughs> I remember having an iPod mini, like uh, I couldn't afford the big one, but I had the mini and mm -hmm. you didn't know what song it was. So you're just <laughs> skipping around, like trying to find the right song. <laughs> Get a random song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just like, where is that song? I want to hear. So electronics, and especially consumer electronics, that means the kind of electronics that people like you and me can just go into the store and buy. This is a massive, multi-billion dollar market. The trade show itself, the CES, the Consumer Electronics Show, happens in... Las Vegas, Woo! Nevada, yep. right? It's known for its casinos, but this That's is right. another thing you can go to see in Las Vegas. That's right, and it's in the big Las Vegas Convention Center, which is uh, technically in Winchester, Nevada. The event typically hosts new presentations for new mm. products, uh, technologies, and of course yeah. we've got all the, the big new tech there, don't right. we? Right, and as we know, like technology changes so quickly. Like, you know, once you buy something, you have to, you know, look for the upgrade. Like it's almost out of date when you buy it. So, yeah. so we're always looking for the, new, the next new thing. And so yeah. some of those technologies that you'd find at this trade show include 3D printing, right. 5G technology, AI, artificial intelligence, which we've been talking a lot about in advance, yep. um, blockchain, cryptocurrency, just to name a few. Right? Yeah. So there's so much like you can see at this trade show. Yeah, and one that's been getting a lot of play and becoming more of a reality is quantum computing. Mm. You know, they're, like you say, everything is moving so fast. I believe the first CES was a long time ago in 1967. It happened in New York City. It, it actually was a spin-off from yeah. the Chicago Music Festival. Yeah, I it went from music to electronics, but yeah. I guess that's, you know. <laughs> well, a lot of consumer technology, like the CD player, happens around media consumption, that's I guess. That's true, that's true. And yeah. when it was first a standalone event, it had like 17,000 attenders and about 100 exhibitors there. It's grown a lot since then. Mm -hmm. Back in the day, it was the Motorola chairman yeah. who was the keynote speaker, <laughs> Motorola. Right, that's when Motorola was huge. I mean, Motorola is still around, yeah. but it's not such a big hitter as it was like back then. Yeah, with Apple and all this. Mm -hmm. So in 1995, I believe it moved to Vegas. Um, in 1998, it became this once a year event in Las Vegas. Um, the show is definitely one of the largest like conventions, expos in Vegas. It right. takes 18 days to yeah. set up, to happen, and to break down. 18 days, that's like more than half of a month. Yeah, that's a, that sounds like a lot of work um, yeah. to set this up and put this on. But you get to see all this stuff there. Like I would love, although I'm not such a tech person, like I would love to just go and see like what is out there, like all of the new technology that is available or that's being developed. How about yeah. you? <laughs> Absolutely. I love trade shows. There's always free pens, sometimes oh, yes. free drinks and snacks. <laughs> the free stuff. <laughs> People try to get you to buy stuff. But it is a really exciting event. Maybe you will go and see it. This is the CES. I'm John. I'm Linda. See you next time on Hot Topics in the News. Bye.